Quantum phase estimation and Shor's factoring algorithm in Mathematica. Quantum is a free mathematical add-on for Dirac bracket notation, quantum computing, and non-commutative algebra. The calculations that are shown in this video are available in those links. Once you have Quantum installed in your computer, you can load Quantum in your Mathematica session using the command needs quantum computing. Right now, these calculations are being done with version 220, July 2010. Here we are going to define an example gate for doing phase estimation. That gate is going to be made of a swap gate, a T gate, and an X gate. In order to enter those gates, I am going to use the palette or toolbar quantum computing gates. Here I select swap, then center dot, then T gate, then center dot, and finally X gate. I close the palette because I'm not going to use it anymore. And then I write that the swap is between qubits Q1 and Q2. The T gate is applied to qubit Q1 and the X gate to qubit Q1. And I press Shift and Enter to evaluate. And I get that W is now a quantum gate of two arguments. With the command quantum eigensystem form, the eigenvalues and eigenstates of W are calculated. Those uh, eigenstates are given in ket notation, and here we have the eigenvalues. Here is, for example, the second eigenvalue with the corresponding eigenstate. Here we select the third eigenvalue and its corresponding eigenstate and store it in the variable my pair w. We select or we store the eigenstate in the ket ew which is used below in the circuits in the computing circuits and we store the eigenvalue in the variable my eigenvalue w. Now the kind of answer that we expect from the phase estimation algorithm is the phase of an eigenvalue in this case with the command n solve we can get the phase of our eigenvalue the phase is 0.3125 and here we have plus 0 times an imaginary part to get rid of that 0 times i I can write chop which is a standard mathematical command and then we only have 0.3125 we transform that 0.3125 to a binary fraction using the command base form and we have 0 0.0101 that is the answer that we are expecting from the phase estimation circuit 0101 which is the binary representation of the phase of this particular eigenvalue this is now the circuit that is going to be used that circuit will have as an input the eigenstate here you can see it and uh, we have uh, Hadamar gates inverse Fourier transform some measurements and we are going to have only two bits to represent the phase which actually was four bits so it's going to be an approximated answer for in order to simulate the quantum circuit to get the result of the measurement we just replace the word quantum plot above by the word quantum evaluate and then instead of having this, the plot of the circuit we have the simulation of the circuit we get the probability of each measurement output and we have that 0.82% uh, of the times we are going to get 0, 01 as a measurement and 0, 01 is precisely a good approximation to 0, 01, 0, 01 as a binary fraction 0, 01 as an approximation to 0, 01, 0, 01 we only have two qubits because that's the way the circuit was done here you can see also a three-dimensional plot where 0, 01 has the largest probability in the measurement now, if instead of doing 2 bits approximation, I do 3 bits approximation, and it's uh, more or less the same command for the circuit, we just replace here that we are going to do the calculation with 3. This is the circuit. Now we have 3 bits for, uh, that are going to be measured and are going to give me the information. Uh, again, instead of writing quantum plot, we will write or type quantum evaluate in order to get the simulation of the circuit. And here the simulation of the circuit gives me with high probability two measurements. With 48% of the times we get 0, 1, 0 and 41% of the times we get 0, 1, 1. 
here we have the measurements and we, we see that there are two measurements with high probability compared to the others those are 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1 and those are good approximations if uh, we uh, interpret them as uh, binary fractions 0 0.01 0 and 0 0.011 are good approximations to 0 0.0101 yeah, the expected answer actually so we have 82% of the times we have a good approximation to the phase quantum order finding is an, an application of phase estimation in the equation x to the power r in modulo n equal to 1 we want for given x and n the smallest value of r for that we use how to apply the phase estimation to a, a special type of gate here we have the definition of the gate yeah, with these commands the gate is going to be called x3n11 is created with these commands here we have the truth table of the gate that was created here we have a matrix representation where uh, orange squares represent non-zero terms in the matrix of the operator it's an operator of 4 qubits here we have the circuit and the simulation of uh, the circuit depending on the output that you get you do some post-processing and from that post-processing which uh, involves convergence you can obtain the order in this case of x equal to 3 modulo 11 the order is 5 that was obtained from the circuit as you can see when you see this document in the links that I show above or below uh, short factor is a factor in algorithm uses actually uh, the quantum order finding quantum phase estimation again I am going to show it very fast here we are going to factor n equal to 15 assuming that we get 7 as a random number that we are going to use this is the circuit, well the gate, the circuit yeah, the result of the measurement the post-processing of the measurement in this case is very simple and uh, with certain probability we get finally the factors of 15 which are 3 and 5 the calculations I invite you to see these calculations in detail in these links thank you Quantum is a free mathematical add-on for direct bracket notation, quantum computing, and non-commutative algebra.